Hey, fellow 5M developers, welcome back to our development adventure. Before we dive into today's content, I've got something exciting to share. If you enjoy the content and want to support the channel, you can now buy me a virtual coffee on Ko-Fi. It's a fantastic way to show your love and keep our digital journey going strong. Simply click the link in the description to get started. You can tip with PayPal or directly from your card. And yes, nothing comes free. I will make sure to upload some exclusive scripts, videos, and links on Ko-Fi, as YouTube won't allow me to upload certain links and scripts. Your support means the world to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, let's jump into today's video. I'm Brave, and this is our QB Core server. Now, as we load into the server, I've come to the realization that I promised you all in the first video to change that drab default QB Core loading screen. Today's video is all about giving our loading screen a fresh new look. Let's dive right into it. First things first, head over to the GitHub link provided in the description. I know this might seem like a basic loading screen, but trust me, it's packed with the features we're looking for and happens to be one of my personal favorites. It's especially great for those just starting out in the world of server development. Once you're on the GitHub page, locate the green code button and download the zip file. Let's get started with this exciting transformation. Now go ahead and navigate to the folder where you downloaded the file, and let's unzip it. Easy peasy, right? Once that's done, open the main folder, head to Assets, then CSS, and finally, open the Style folder. Here, press Ctrl plus F to open the search bar and type NC. You should find it around line 364. Now, replace NCRP with your server name in a short format. For example, I'm going with GTA 6. Don't forget to save the file using Ctrl plus S. Now let's spruce up the loading screen's appearance. Navigate to the Media folder and replace the default logo with an image of your choice. I recommend using a picture without a background for a cleaner look. Follow the steps I'm taking here. Just remember to rename your logo to match the existing logo names, just like I'm doing here. I won't be touching anything in the icon section today, but feel free to customize it as you wish. You can replace the Instagram icon with a YouTube icon, but please remember to rename the new image with the same name. My focus today, however, is on other aspects. Now head back to the asset folder, open scripts, and then the config file. Here, you'll find the main part of the loading screen. You can add or update social media links. Let's start by changing Instagram to YouTube. And you can add the link to your YouTube channel here. I won't be adding any link for now. In the staff section, you can add or rename staff members of the server. I'll add myself. To add an image, simply upload it to your Discord channel, copy the image link, and paste it here. I'll do the same for Judo. To add a new staff member, copy the line above and paste it on the next line. Don't forget to add a comma at the end. Now there's not much to do in the config file. Let's move to the next section. Go to the main folder, find the index file, and right-click to open it with VS Code. This is the foundational part of what appears on the screen, and NC is the placeholder to replace everything with our server name. We have a YouTube video playing in the background, but we'll change it at the end. There are quite a few sections where you need to make changes, so pay attention.
Now let's change the YouTube video. Make sure to select a video that has no copyright issues. I'm currently choosing the GTA 6 trailer. Find the video, click on the share button, then select embed. Check the box for start and set the timestamp you want to begin from and copy the link. Go back to VS Code. Oh wait, I forgot to mention that you need to copy the end part of the default link as we'll need it for the future link. Copy the end part as shown in that video and paste it into a text file. Now go back and copy the link once more. Sorry guys. Now go back and paste the link. Remember to backspace the first end as we don't need it. Now go back to the text file, copy the autoplay link and paste it at the end of the new YouTube video link. Please follow along with the video. Okay, we're all set for testing. Please make sure to save this file by pressing Ctrl plus S. Now, before we put our customization to the test, let's integrate it into our QB Core base. Copy the folder you've just worked on and navigate to your QB Core base folder. Head into Resources, then QB, and paste it here for the time being. Now let's deal with the default QB loading screen. Find its file name, make a copy of it, and then delete the original. After that, locate the NC loading folder, rename it to QB loading, and you're all set to see your changes in action. Let's continue to elevate our server's visual appeal. As my server was already running, I'm going to restart the server for the changes to come online. Now go to 5 them and enter your server to see the magic. Roses are red, violets are blue. My loading screen is new. Your fresh customized loading screen is ready to welcome your players. Now with the addition of customized social media links, information about the staff, real-time player count updates, and the ability to watch a video in full screen by simply pressing F1, your QB Core server is not only functional, but visually captivating. It's all about creating a unique and engaging experience for your players. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And remember, you can now buy me a virtual coffee on Ko-Fi to support the channel. The link is in the description. Now until we see next time I'm Brave, and this is our GTA 6-themed QB Core server, let's make our digital journey epic together.